Mate, what's that smell? Aloe vera. Right. Where's it coming from? Live face. I see. So that SPF 15 plus I lent you? I forgot to pack it. Oh, mate! I was in a hurry, wasn't I? Oh, you try packing nine days worth of clothing into your carry-on luggage. Nine days? You said the trip was for five days. Well, officially, yes. But the minister added a few extra days of rest and relaxation towards the end. He didn't. Who did? Who did? Who did? Who did? Who did? Who said those of you who wish to stay an extra three nights in Tonga may do so at the taxpayer's expense? Oh, not the taxpayer, 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 the Research trip. Oh, what were you researching? Mainly restaurants and massage parlours, as it turns out. Mm. <laughs> and what did you learn? Freeze your octopus. What? You've got to freeze your octopus before preparing it in coconut cream. Helps to tenderise the meat. You're saying your octopus wasn't tender? Well, it was a little chewy, yes. Oh, did you say something? Well, I couldn't do it, mate. It's their local cuisine. Who am I to give them tips? Even so, how hard is it to serve an octopus in coconut cream? Octopus. Onion. Cream. Octopus. Onion. Cream. Octopus. Onion. Cream. Clean the octopus. Remove the beak-like mouth, the anal portion and the eyes. Be careful not to pierce the ink sac which lies close by. Use a pair of scissors or if it's too tough, a knife. Remove and discard the yellowish pouch. And the attached membrane. Wash in running water to remove gelatinous portions. Freeze it. Defrost it. Into the pot. Boil it. Out of the pot. Dice it. Back into the pot. Add the onions. Add the coconut. Coconut cream, simmer, simmer it, simmer it, simmer, simmer it. it. Prepare some fresh banana leaves on the side. And so on. Until you've got, got an octopus in coconut, coconut cream. cream. <laughs> oh, so how was Qantas? It, it was fine. Mm, I was worried you would miss your flight with all that industrial action. Um... <laughs> but as I was saying to Federal Minister for Infrastructure and Transport, Anthony Albanese, just this morning, I said, Anthony, he said, call me Mr Albanese. I said, Minister Albanese, it is great to see the flying kangaroo back up in the big blue yonder where she belongs. I flew virgin. You bloody what? Oh, I couldn't risk it. You bloody traitor. Oh, I had no choice, mate. But we took a sacred oath, mate. Say it with me. I, I pledge my allegiance to Qantas. Qantas. Never shall I be wooed by the promises of low-cost airlines at the expense of earning frequent flyer status points. My goal is to reach platinum. My eyes are on the skies. Complimentary headsets. Complimentary snacks. I love the Qantas Club. <laughs> Oh, I just... I just can't even... What, what was it like? Honestly, it was comfortable, affordable, reliable, and the flight attendants were all very attractive. Stop it. The pilot made an amusing quip over the PA system and we all had a bit of a giggle. I can't listen to this. Oh, I even joined the Virgin Lounge. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> so I suppose you'll be flying Virgin from now on? Not likely. Why not? Virgin don't serve octopus. 